Shocked to be honest. I mean, I've seen rabbit dogs before and I've dealt with them before, and it's quite scary and it's difficult and it's it's frightening. This girl came to a hospital with her parents and uh, they noted that she'd been changing behaviour and that uh, she wasn't drinking so much. Um, and when I examined her, I could see that she wasn't that unwell at the time, uh, but she was certainly very irritable and unhappy. And as soon as I blew in her face and sort of blew gently in her face, she startled and grimaced in the way that people do with rabies. Sadly, she passed away a few days later on the ward, despite, uh, well, as all children with rabies do, once you're symptomatic, then there's nothing that we can do other than make you comfortable until you die. <laughs> When we first started, no one thought we'd do it. We want to vaccinate your dogs for free against rabies. 50,000 dogs was the initial challenge. Can we do that in 30 days? And honestly, we got laughed at, absolutely laughed at. But then we did 63,000. <laughs> the vets from 16 different countries all come and volunteer on that project and we smashed it. And it was like, well, what can we do next? Can we, can we do a bit more of that? And we thought, well, hang about. Yeah, let's, let's try and focus this down. Let's just see if we can do a town, a city, a district, an entire Indian state. And maybe we can do the same in other countries like Malawi, world's poorest country. Can we take it on there? Can we change that? Instead of being the highest instance child rabies deaths, let's, let's just make it the lowest. Let's just have a go at doing it. And we have. We're four years on and we've done it. We've eliminated rabies from that city and there's been no human rabies deaths at all in the entire Indian state of Goa, four years on. We make it seem some sort of dark art, this epidemiological control of elimination of canine rabies. But it's not. It's actually just vaccinating enough dogs in an area to create herd immunity to eliminate that disease. And if we do that, everyone wins. OK, let's mark it up, guys. And that's it. That's what we're doing. We're vaccinating dogs. We do that every day at home in the practice. It's really OK. Quite simple. I can handle that. Titensei Chiwewei! Titensei! Yay! Guys, you're amazing. Mass vaccination is working. Rabies is 100% preventable. Together, we can nail it. Yeah! dog when it is eating. The Mission Rabies Educational Program has imparted a lot of knowledge. After this education, we feel safer to walk on the roads. We've seen rallies, we've seen the communities respond. Everybody here knows about the project. Rabies, rabies! Rabies, rabies! Young children can make a difference by doing much. Every people can see them and they can hear the voice. If small children are known, why not elder? They learn from the children. We learn many things from the elders, but they are learning the awareness by us. So it will make a difference. 
We're welcomed everywhere in the state now doing this job. It's, it's a badge of honour wearing this Mission Rabies logo. It's a badge of honour because the communities like us, they support us. And that encourages us and inspires us and we recognise we are a part of a winning team. And this is it. This is our patch. That's where vets can come in. Patches. The public. It's where communities can get involved. It needs all these other experts, it needs sponsors, it needs governments, everybody pulling together to see this over the line. And our role is to galvanise that.